Hello and welcome. In this video, we will look at KGHM's 2014 first half production results, sales totals, profits, cost to produce, and growth. KGHM is one of the world's largest copper producers and the world's third largest silver producer with an annual silver production in 2013 of over 37 million ounces. Most of KGHM's income comes from copper and silver, but they also produce gold, lead, rhodium, rhenium, rock salt, and other minerals. KGHM has been in business for over 50 years, and currently they have a copper-silver mine resource so large that KGHM states that they will be mining copper and silver with guaranteed continued production for at least the next 40 years. Their current silver resources are 2 to 3 billion ounces, with a current yearly production of 35 to 40 million ounces. For the first half of 2014, KGHM produced 605.5 tons, or 19.5 million ounces of silver. That's an increase of about 11% over the 543.8 tons they produced the first half of 2013. For the first half of 2014, KGHM sold 572.1 tons, or 18.4 million ounces, a decline of about 750,000 ounces, or 4%, from the first half of 2013. In 2014, KGHM sold less than they produced. The rest went into inventories and some is considered work in progress. In 2013, KGHM sold more silver than they produced by selling off some of their inventories. In the first half of 2014, KGHM also produced 26.1 thousand ounces of gold, more than twice as much as the 11.3 thousand ounces they produced in the first half of 2013. However, gold production is only a small byproduct for KGHM. Looking at the abbreviated consolidated income statement, for the first half of 2014, KGHM grossed about $3.1 billion, or about $9.5 billion in Polish currency, down about 24% from 2013. Profit for the first half of 2014 was about $360 million, or $1.1 billion in Polish currency, about 11%. Profit in the first half of 2013 was 14%, so there was a small decline in the overall profit percentage. Some notable changes in costs were, despite the drop in production, employee costs slightly increased. There was an increase in depreciation costs. Material and energy costs declined at a lower rate than the rate that production declined. Also worth mentioning, although not shown here, is that taxes declined at a much higher rate than production, partially due to decline in revenue causing KGHM to fall into a lower tax base. KGHM included a pie chart that breaks down their costs for the first half of 2014. We can see that materials and energy consumption was 43%. Employee benefits, which includes payroll, was 26%. External services was 10%. Depreciation and amortization was 9%, taxation and other charges were 11%, and other costs were 1%. In the first half of 2014, 12.0172% of KGHM's revenue came from silver, so I took that percent of each cost and applied it to silver. I then divided by the number of ounces of silver produced to get the complete cost to produce silver. This is known as the co product method. In the first half of 2014, Total costs, including production, depreciation, and exploration, was $15.63 an ounce. Adding in selling costs, administration costs, finance costs, taxes, other operating income, and other operating costs brings the complete cost to produce silver for the first half of 2014 to $18.05 per ounce. For the full year of 2014, KGHM is estimating silver production to be 1,140 tons, or 36.7 million ounces and silver sales to be 1,115 tons, or 35.8 million ounces. At the halfway point, they were over 50% of the way to meeting both estimates. In July, the pre-stripping was completed on the Sierra Gorda mine, a new mine KGHM owns 55% stake in. Production is expected to begin later this year, producing mostly copper and molybdenum, plus some gold. At full capacity, the Sierra Gorda will be one of the largest molybdenum producing mines in the world. KGHM has been a strong producer for decades. They have reserves and resources that will keep them mining copper and silver for at least the next 40 years. Their production is consistent and expected to remain that way. I hope that you enjoyed this video.
Thanks for watching.